In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to start your first YouTube automation channel in 2023. This is the best time possible to start your YouTube automation channel. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. If you don't know who I am, I'm Steffen and I run a few successful YouTube automation channels. I've been posting videos to YouTube since I'm 13 years old. This means that I posted my first video almost 8 years ago. So you can really trust what I'm going to tell you in this video make sure to watch this video till the end so that you don't miss out on any important information so first of all what is a youtube automation channel and how can you actually make money with it brightside is one of the biggest youtube automation channels and if we click on a video on this channel and we let let it play a bit then we will see that nobody shows their face in this video and if i turn on the sound you will hear something that is very important but i will come to that in a second i just turned on the sound and i'll show you guys what you will hear now years ago then it sank and over centuries people have been passing stories about it as you can hear this video has a voiceover and the voiceover plays a big role in this but i'll come to that a bit later in this video so but how do you actually earn money with the youtube automation channel this is very easy to explain youtube creators earn money by monetizing their channel with the youtube partnership program which means that there will be ads in front of your videos or they can monetize their channel with brand deals or with affiliate marketing and there are a lot of other different ways to monetize your YouTube channel and to make a lot of money with YouTube. So now that you guys know what a YouTube automation channel is, how do you actually build up a YouTube automation channel yourself? So first of all, you need to find a niche and I would really suggest you guys to go into a niche that you are really interested in, especially if you are going to do the videos yourself at the beginning, because if the channel doesn't perform great from the start on, you will most probably lose motivation very fast if you're not interested in the niche so let's say for example you are interested in technology so what you do then is you type in technology into your google search bar and then you will see a lot of channels that create videos about technology and what you can do then is you can go through these channels and see which channels are actually creating content that you are interested in and then you also need to look if the channel is actually faceless so the channel i just opened up is is not actually a technology channel as we can see here it's a top five channel i don't know why it actually popped up uh, as we can see here i just clicked on this video so this is not a technology channel but if we click on tech zone we will see that this is a technology channel so on this channel they are posting more videos about technology so if we click on this video now because we want to make sure that this video is faceless and we turn off the sound and we play it a bit as you guys can see nobody shows their face in this video so there are some other examples of very good niches for example the finance niche the health niche the animal niche is pretty viral at the moment the relationship niche and the celebrity niche so once you found a niche that you are actually interested in now you have to create a youtube channel and that is very easy to do i think most of you guys know how to create a youtube channel but now you're probably wondering but what should i name my YouTube channel. It is very easy actually. Try to keep the name unique, which is not that easy actually. <laughs> and then just try to make the channel name as short as possible and that people can remember it easily. For the channel logo and the channel banner you can come to fiverr.com and you can type in um, YouTube logo and banner like this and then you will find a lot of people that can create a logo and a banner for you for a very cheap price the logo and the banner are very important because they just make your channel look much more professional next up you need to make a list of at least 33 video ideas for that you come to bigger channels in your niche like for example this one and no you don't come to most popular videos as many people say i didn't have a good experience doing this and choosing video topics 
topics like this. So please don't come here and choose topics from here because so many people created videos on these topics already. So what you do instead is you come to the recently uploaded videos and you look for the videos that really outperformed all of the videos that were posted in the last month. For example, this video outperformed most of these videos. So then you write this video topic on your list and you just repeat this process until you have 33 videos on your list. Now, some of you might ask yourself, but why do you need 33 videos? This is very easy to explain. You need 33 videos to get accurate data from YouTube to then see what exactly works on your channel and what doesn't work. And then you can double down on what works in the next list of 33 videos. So now you have your video topics, but what should you do now? Now you have to create a video. So you have two options there. Either you can create the video yourself or you can hire someone to create the video for you. I'm going to show you how to hire someone to create a video for you in this video. So what you basically can do and what I will actually always do, I actually don't use Upwork. I use Fiverr much more. So what you can do on Fiverr is you can come here and then just search for faceless videos. And as you can see here, here are a lot of people that create faceless YouTube videos. And if I click on this video, this video is really good. What if you make money 24 seven, even while you're sleeping, doing nothing still with each talent individual. As you can see, and this person had a lot of orders already, so you can really trust him and that he creates good videos. So what you do then basically is you come here to maybe contact seller and then you can just send him a message, ask him if he can create videos like you want to. And if not, you can just look for someone else. There are so many content creators on Fiverr. But you guys have to keep in mind that this will cost something. So if you want to create the videos yourself, you first of all need a script, then you need a voiceover. A voiceover is very important to monetize your videos and then you need the video clips that you are going to use in your videos. The video clips you can easily download from YouTube. Just download this 4k video downloader. This is one of the best YouTube video downloaders on the market but if you use video clips from other videos then make sure to give credits and then you should also use stock footage. One of the best stock footage websites is called Storyblocks. They really have a lot of content, almost everything you can think of, but Storyblocks does cost $70 per month. But if you really want to make sure that you don't get the strike, then definitely go ahead and buy a subscription at Storyblocks. But if you don't have the money to spend on Storyblocks, then you can come to a website called Pexels.com. This website also has a lot of stock footage, but not as much as Storyblock because Pexels.com is for free. So once you have your script written, you have your voiceover and and you have the clips that you need to create a video. Now you need to edit your video. I'm not going to show you how to edit videos in this video because it's just going to take too long, but there are a lot of tutorials on YouTube that teach exactly that. Next up, you need a thumbnail. And what I always do is I go to bigger channels and look what are they using as thumbnails and how are they creating their thumbnails. And for the niche we are currently talking about, the tech niche or the technology niche, we can see see that they are actually just using pictures of gadgets or technology gadgets. You should definitely make sure that your thumbnail has a wow effect and that people really want to click on it. There are also a lot of thumbnail tutorials on YouTube so make sure to check that out as well. Now the last thing you need to do is you need to upload the video to your YouTube channel and what you do for that is it's very easy you just come to this create icon here click on it and then upload video and then something like this will pop up and then you just click on select files and then you can select the video file you want to upload. I'm just uploading a random video to show you guys exactly what to do in the video description and how to optimize a video. So first of all, you need to add a title and what I always do is I add the title here again, then I come down and then I write what this video is about. It's just a little paragraph explaining what exactly this video is about. In this paragraph, I use a lot of keywords 
that I also use in my tags. So I would suggest that you write your tags first. And then what I also suggest is that you have a small section in your video description where you just have a small channel description and you have that under every single video. This leads to YouTube suggesting your videos under your own videos. So what this basically means is if you are looking at a video, let's say for example on your channel, then another video of your channel will pop up here. That will just loop viewers on your YouTube channel and the more videos you have online, the better because then a snowball effect will happen. If you want to add a thumbnail, you just click on this, then you add a thumbnail to your YouTube video. Here you can choose if you want to add it into a playlist or not. I would suggest to make some playlists if you have different type of videos. Once you are monetized on your YouTube channel, you will get this option as well. So how do you actually get monetized? You need 1000 subscribers and 4000 hours of watch time. Now you probably think, okay, that's going to take me a long, long time. But I can tell you now already that it is possible in like three weeks. I just recently monetized the channel in three weeks. So if you choose the correct video topics and you do everything correctly, then you can easily monetize the YouTube channel in three weeks. So what you do here is where you just click monetization on and then if your video is over eight minutes you can add mid-roll ads which will boost your CPM which means that you will earn more money from your video. Then you click on next then you just none of the above submit rating like that and then video elements is going to come now as you guys can see here you need to add an end screen here you can just like I always suggest that you only have one end screen like this so the viewers don't have a lot of options and they don't think about it a lot they just click on the next video and then for the cards I actually don't do them and then here no copyright issues or anything this is always very important that you don't have any copyright issues because because otherwise your video is not going to get monetized next up is the visibility here you can choose if you want to schedule your video or if you want to post it directly I always schedule my videos because I produce in advance and I can really suggest all of you guys to produce videos in advance. So how many videos should you post per week? I suggest that you post at least two or three times per week but if you can only do one time per week then go ahead it's better than nothing and if you can daily upload that's even better. But there are many mistakes that a lot of people make and if you want to avoid them then click on the video that's on the screen right now.